based on reading conversations online, it could be anywhere from, I would say at the low end, if you get lucky, 50 applications. On the high end, I've seen people say they've submitted 300, 400, 500 applications and heard nothing. And I will say, if you get to the point where you're sending 300 applications and hearing nothing, you need to fix something about either your yes, resume yes. or your application because you want to fix things at the level that they're broken. Yeah. So when people come to me and they say, hey, Jake, I, I can't get a job in tech. It's like, where in the process are you broken? Is it, are you not hearing back from recruiters? Oh, well, it might be your resume. It might be you need to insert some more buzzwords. It might be that you're applying to the wrong places that don't have new grad positions. And then if you're not getting past the recruiter phone screen, it could be you need to figure out how to be more sociable. Maybe the recruiters are a little hesitant due to something unexplained on your resume. Yeah. And so I think you need to tackle things at the level that they present themselves in terms of the whole job search. Yeah. Solve problems at the level you find them. Yeah, um, absolutely. I think that's yeah. some really great advice for anything. And I think it ties in with that third P problem solving. You're a problem solver on the job as a software engineer. But you're a problem solver in your life. You're a problem solver as a communicator. You want to figure out and just not just be resigned. Like as a developer, you can't say, this doesn't work, I don't know what to do. Like, you also can't just be like, I'm not getting a job, I don't know what to do. There, You have to do some analysis. You have to seek some feedback. 